Hitman, Eurogamer, thoughts, go. Hitman, Absolution, which is the next line from Blood Money, which was a personal favourite of mine. Um, I've spent far too much time on that game, and I'm yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think there was that really early release trailer of basically a linear level of Agent 47 going through and just doing a linear level, trying to sneak around. And it was, I guess it was to show off that they were trying to be more mainstream as a game, but it scared a lot of the hardcore fans. And I think with this new level they brought out for Eurogamer and they've shown gameplay of before, of the kind of Chinatown assassination level, they've kind of reeled it back and they've tried to... Um, will basically show that they are they're still the same game. So yeah, first, Andy, what was your thoughts on it? Yeah, I, I, at the demo, I was just absolutely amazed at the number of NPCs that are in yeah, there. Yeah, that's the first thing. Like, I've never just seen so many people up. in one place in a game. Exactly, it was amazing. Just walking into this, like, open up the doors, and then suddenly there's like a, a full on. Chinese mar- China for town marketplace full of like there's like all the normal market there's chefs then there's police there's the, your, your target then there's drug dealers there's just yeah. absolutely like a full on marketplace set up working just just working naturally it's just absolutely amazing also it's amazing how quickly the entire place emptied as soon as you started firing shots yeah the, 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 <laughs> that's what I was going to say the environment in terms of how they actually react to everything was actually really spot on because of yeah. course in earlier games they kind of just kind of cowed a little bit and ran off, but it wasn't very fluid. And yeah, as yeah. soon as you, so you feel bring like it was out, very natural. Yeah, it, it felt like an actual really, crowd that you were working It was really with. good because ultimately, because we, the one, the one like <coughs> uh, downside we did find of the demo, both me and Phil thought, was that all Hitman games you want to spend a, a very long amount of time on each level, figuring out, find all the routes, see what which, which way you want to go, have you spend more time. But obviously, under time constraints of the expo, you literally just wanted to get through try and kill a guy as quick as possible and ultimately it always failed like you couldn't yeah. find it like Phil found it, found a couple of the, the ways like to blow up the car but obviously didn't know how to do it properly and then like I ended up just shooting everyone just yeah. like going oh but the police are found let's just shoot people the different options you could take do you think it was not really as, not in the demo I think you, do you agree with is it, was, did it still feel linear though do you think it was more could, spread out very spread well, out is, yeah. yeah it's like it's never really been linear you've got this open world and yeah. I hope that's something they really hold on to, like these big maps that you kind of sneak through and you get really involved. I've, I've spent like a good two hours, maybe plus, on a level. I know that's insane, but I've spent a stupid amount of time on just one level of, for example, Blood Money. That's the and beauty of the series. That's the, yeah. I, I think that's the beauty of and the series, is that you can spend that time on a level. as, as It is like a, a perfect set piece. You can spend and have your own have your own stories within stories, just like yeah. follow characters around, but like... Yeah, it is really. That, do you that feel, was good. Do you feel this with the level, with the demo level they showed you? Did you get that sense of multiple places you go to? The big yeah, it things? wasn't. It wasn't huge, but it was decent enough to think, okay, there's probably quite a few things we can do there. But like you said, we couldn't explore yeah. as much as we Exa- wanted. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And maybe that's in hindsight. Maybe that's what I should have done instead of like kind of trying to shoot him. Just set it on chase. Just, just do it normally. I should have just like had a look around, see if there's any buildings you can go in, vantage points, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I think it's just kind of the pressure of only having. You have as much time as you want, but then of course you don't want to take it from other people, so yeah, um, yeah, you only yeah. really got to spend a quite a short amount of time on it. But I think it's very promising, right? What do you think, Andy? Yeah, I think I think the game will be good. I've personally never owned any Hitman games. I don't think I've never actually bought any of them. I've just played them at friends' houses or whatever. But they were but, always that great game. Yeah, though. exactly. They were they were always they were always. I think I I still do believe that they are always good to watch as well as play, like just yeah, to see how true. other people do. Like to do the missions differently and see, because obviously there's always that's the beauty of the game. There's always ways to do it that you wouldn't have even thought of or even known about. Mm-hmm. Um, they've added elements in, for example, you get visually warned when you start killing innocent people, and all that kind of stuff is yeah, being marked so down. Yeah, your score's going down and stuff. Yeah, because cool. that's kind of it's got mm. that kind of a aspect of you're supposed to kill one person, you're supposed to do it cleanly. Um, so it's coming out in November. Yeah. And you think you're both going to pick it up? Play it definitely. Yeah. Uh, I might, yeah. Yeah. I might not pick it up per se. There's definitely other games out there that I would rather spend my money on. But right. I still think, but definitely still think, optimistic definitely though. recommend. If you had the unlimited budget, it would be would be one of the ones to pick up. I wouldn't avoid it. Yeah. I think one final thought on it though as well. I think, I think one thing is they're trying to also add in the story a lot in this one. And I think that could really work. For example, you feel um, positive rather than negative about this sort of change. Yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna. There's something I really want to comment on from Blood Money, but because I don't want to do any spoilers because it is right at the end. But you kind of get that really overwhelming feel of even though there isn't many cutscenes and all that kind of stuff, there is a story to it that you kind of really enjoy. And hopefully they've got it right in this game, and that's why I'm one of the things I'm looking for. Yeah, because that's the one thing I one thing that I would say negatively about the Hitman series as a whole, yeah. for my perspective, anyway, is the fact that it is 
literally just a set of levels that you go on, you go to a level, you assassinate one or multiple targets, and you go through the levels basically just trying not to get caught killing the same people. Which some people, obviously, obviously, the, and then the beauty of it is in, is in the different ways you can do it, but then there is always, it does somewhat become a little bit formulaic, because obviously, especially for the, the, the designers of the game, sort of say, well, where have we not done as a place? Well, we've not done a Chinatown market, let's, let's, let's do, do that. that, or we can do this sort of place, which is, so obviously a, a bit of yeah. like storyline would be amazing. And even if they did, the the way the place I would love it to go is if they took it almost in like an Assassin's Creed if they made it into an open world game that'd be amazing if you have like your base where you get your contracts from and then you right, had to, you all the levels to be connected more exactly if you had everything yeah. if you've had like a whole that world if you had a whole world to walk around in the Hitman I think which is where I ultimately would like to go maybe not in this game but if the next one like they showed they can do all the NPCs but if they could yeah. do that on a larger scale and there's like side quests and stuff you could do yeah. that'd be really really cool so sort of like that's a good, that's a good just, yeah I think if you had that kind of open world and then I'm not I kind of I'm it's a new idea to me I kind of at first I'm skeptical but I suppose certain things could work for example if you've got to travel somewhere yeah you've got to you can go pick up your guns you can go pick up extra yeah. things you exactly. can do side missions just, like just sort of plan up. you could plan out your job like you could literally you could scan the area you could know maybe like if, if like there's a the clock running you, you know like that your target's going to be in this area mm -hmm in two days time you could yeah. go to that area check the area out know where you're going to go maybe get some contacts I think like as more of like a, a global sort of like game yeah. thing that'd be really cool